What abilities did humans lose during the course of evolution? First up, the penis bone. <laughs> yes, a literal bone in the penis. It's standard equipment for 98% of mammals. They have fixed mating seasons, so this bone helps them be, well, more efficient with their time. Our ancient ancestors had this part too, but around 700,000 years ago, it was completely phased out of our design. Why? This wasn't a downgrade, it was a strategic redesign. Once we started walking upright, a penis bone would have just gotten in the way, making us slower hunters and creating a new injury risk. Plus, humans don't have a strict mating season, we're open for business year-round. We just didn't need a special tool for a job that was no longer on a tight deadline. So, it was scrapped. Next, a quick system check. Put your hand out and touch your pinky to your thumb. See that tendon that might pop up in your wrist? That's the palmaris longus muscle, an obsolete part from when our ancestors needed to climb trees. About 15% of people have already lost this muscle. If you don't have it, don't worry, it doesn't affect your grip strength at all. It just means your body is a more modern version. But some of the biggest changes were to our internal chemistry. Let's go back 60 million years. The ability to synthesize vitamin C was deleted from the primate family tree. Most mammals can make their own vitamin C. We lost that skill. A gene in our small, shrew-like ancestors just broke. This looks like a massive design flaw, right? It's the reason sailors used to get scurvy. But at the time, fruit was becoming abundant everywhere. Why waste internal energy making something when it's an easily available resource? Losing that energy-draining function allowed us to invest that power into other areas like building a bigger brain. It was a step back that was actually a leap forward. Here's another one. About 17 million years ago, a gene called UOX was switched off in our ancestors. This broke our ability to process uric acid, which is why humans get gout and lions eating nothing but organ meat don't. Again, this looks like a flaw, but it was a strategic advantage in a world of scarcity. Higher uric acid makes your body much better at converting sugar into fat. In an era where starvation was a constant threat, being able to store energy easily was a top-tier survival skill. Sure, it has a nasty side effect called gout, but our primitive ancestors never lived long enough to experience it. They were too busy trying to survive thanks to their extra fat reserves. Our bodies are full of these leftovers. The useless muscles that used to move our ears, the wisdom teeth we have no room for, the appendix. They're all remnants from older blueprints reminding us that we weren't perfectly designed. We are the product of millions of years of practical, messy, and sometimes brutal innovation.